Good day, poker peeps. This is Sky with Smart Poker Study. In this video, we're going to take a childhood concept of mine, namely one more to grow on, and we're going to apply that to our poker growth. To help you take notes with this video, go to the show notes page, smartpokerstudy.com slash pod 479. So I remember this concept from childhood, namely like my ninth birthday party, inviting all my friends over when we're, when it's time for the cake and everyone's singing happy, happy birthday. Right after that, everybody at the party gets one punch in the arm and then the 10th person, a 10th to grow on. That's where everything started. Beyond that, still in childhood, my coach would say, hey, there's more gas in the tank, guys. Do that one more lap. You're not stopping at four. Let's go a fifth lap. Sometimes he'd make us even do one more, a sixth lap around the track. Now, later in life, I would apply that idea to my fitness goals. So, for example, when I go swimming, my goal is to do 25 laps, but I never stop at just 25. I'll always do a 26 lap for one more to grow on. Now, I remember watching a video once, Ronnie Coleman, one of the best bodybuilders of all time, his biggest regret in life revolved around a workout. He was a squat maniac. This dude had the biggest tree trunk legs you've ever seen. His biggest regret was when he finally decided to do an 800 pound squat. His goal was to do two squats. He got up there, he did number one, he did number two, and then he racked it. But immediately after racking that weight, he was uh, regretful that he didn't go for five. Like he knew he had enough gas in the tank to pump out three more at 800 pounds. Crazy, right? But that's his biggest regret, not putting the pedal to the metal and using up all that gas in his tank. Because we always have more in the tank, even when it comes to poker. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Now, what I've been doing, I'm about one third of the way through a personal challenge, 100 squats per day for an entire year. Now, it started off first just doing 100 squats, whatever kind of squat, body weight squats, box jumps, barbell squats, whatever it is, 100 a day. And then I decided, you know, I am going to employ the one more to grow on concept and I would do 101 per day. That went for a couple weeks or so. And then I said, wait a second, I'm often doing five sets of 20 for an exercise. Like today, for example, I did five sets of 20 thrusters, which are like holding a kettlebell, squat down, thrust up five times 20. But what I do now is I incorporate one additional rep into each set. So what I actually did was five times 21 for a total of 105 reps. So I just feel that I always have that extra gas in the tank. I know I can put out more effort. And then this is how currently I'm doing it in fitness. So let me give you some ways that you can incorporate one more to grow on into your poker time. When it comes to poker time, we usually spend it in one of three ways. Number one might be with poker play, so the time on the felt, whether it's live at the card room, in a home game, on the computer, or poker study time, reading books, watching videos, chatting about poker with our friends, or maybe poker entertainment, watching rounders for the hundredth time. But when it comes to poker, I have a ton of different ways that you can incorporate one more to grow on in your poker play. First is you force yourself to play one more session per week. Maybe you're a Monday, Wednesday, Saturday kind of player. Let's toss in a Sunday, toss in a Friday session as well. Practice your poker strategies one more day. Maybe even one more hour played each week. Maybe you religiously schedule your poker. You put in 20 hours every week. Let's strive for 21 this week and then 21 next and then 22 the week after that. Maybe you want to play 100 or even maybe 1,000 more hands every single week. You're tracking your hands. You have Poker Tracker 4 as a database. You know how many hands you put in? Strive for that a little bit more. Maybe you play one more round at the table before you get up and leave. So you know you've had enough. You're ready to go make lunch and or hang out with the family or something. Put the family on hold for just one more round at the table. Six max, that's only six hands, maybe five minutes or so. Your family can wait just a little bit so that you can use up that gas in your tank. Maybe you want to try one more successful three bet bluff before you end your session. Maybe one more successful check raise bluff, flop turn, maybe even on the river. Maybe you want to do one more successful bet when he checks bluff. Or lastly, maybe one more exploitative play attempted, whether it's successful or not. Whatever you're currently focused on, make it one more time before you leave the table. And now when it comes to poker study, one more to grow on again. So maybe you do one more hand reviewed to help you plug that leak 
even quicker with every study session. Maybe you do one more daily hand reading exercise. And oftentimes hand reading, depending on the hand, it can take a long time, 10, 15 minutes, especially with multi-street action. But if you're short on time, you already did one full hand reading, do a real quick one with a hand that got to showdown, but maybe there was only one street of action. You raised, somebody called, you see bet the flop, they called, and then check turn, check river. With less actions, that hand is quicker and you're fitting in that one more to grow on. Maybe you do one more study session every single week. Maybe you do one more hour studied per week than you usually do. Three sessions at 30 minutes each. Hey, three sessions at 50 minutes each to put in that extra hour. Maybe you do one more video, podcast, chapter, or article studied on a normal day off. Maybe every Wednesday is your day off from poker. Hey, this coming Wednesday at lunch, right after you eat your peanut butter jelly sandwich, do a little bit of studying. Maybe you can post one more hand or comment on a hand in a forum. And maybe read one more page in a book and take some more notes instead of stopping at five. Go to that sixth page during your study session. And lastly, maybe you took four pages of notes on one given video or a chapter in a book. Take the time now to condense that down to a one-page summary for quick reference. One more to grow on with that one extra step. And now lastly, for poker entertainment... Replace one piece of entertainment this week with any kind of poker training, whether you're going through your database of hands, using Flopzilla Pro, watching a training video. Maybe find one strategy bit to take away from every piece of poker entertainment. Whatever you're watching, whatever you're listening to, there's probably something you can learn from it. You might have to think about it, think deeply about it, do some critical thinking on whatever's happening in the movie or whatnot, but you can learn something from it. And then lastly, instead of watching rounders for the hundredth time, study a great training video one more time. That thing that you watched three months ago that just, it gave you some big aha moments. Get back and do that one again. And now, of course, it's time for you to take action. First off, please like the video and tell me how you're going to use one more to grow on this coming week in your poker play, study, or entertainment. And also subscribe for more to the YouTube channel here. And then lastly, use that one more to grow on to propel you on your journey. I gave you tons of ideas. Go to the show notes page, smartpokerstudy.com slash pod 479 to help you take notes on all of this stuff. And good luck to you.